Corrin, like many sword fighters in the game, have a game plan which relies heavily on spacing, having good fundamentals in neutral, and having great ledge trapping skills. However, what makes her unique is her amazing combo game and her ability to juggle her opponents with her amazing anti-airs. Once your opponent is at kill percents, Corrin will look for moves like back air, up air, and dragon pin to secure her stock. Additionally, Corrin has some unique mechanics such as her dragon pin and her dragon fang shot, which allow Corrin to perform many different mix-ups and kill confirms. In this video, we're going to break down the key aspects of playing Corrin, including her combos, playing neutral, and how to utilize her unique special moves. Please make sure to subscribe to help support my channel. Also, join my Discord server to join the community and be a part of Discord exclusive events like tournaments and viewer battles. When playing Corrin, your goal is to poke and pressure your enemy to land one of her many combo starters and start her combo strings. Since most of her moves center her opponent vertically, this gives her amazing versatility in freestyle combos with her strong juggling skills and anti-airs, allowing her to combo off of three different aerials that all combo into each other with ease. The moves you'll be looking for when starting combos are forward air, up air, neutral air, and down tilt, as they all start combos at low, mid, and even high percents depending on the character. Neutral air comes out on frame 6, with a strong hit coming out at the very beginning of the hitbox. After that, the soft hitbox spins around her body from frames 8 to 19. It is negative 7 on shield and is mostly safe on shield as long as you fast fall Nair as low as possible to avoid stalling in the air. Nair can combo from all parts of the hitbox, including the rear side of the hitbox. It can combo into forward air, up air, back air, dash attack, dragon pin, and up tilt. The strongest combo at low percentages is a Nair to Dragon Pin, which will get you 32%. Once you reach mid percents, you can start strings by following up with Nairs, forward airs, and up airs. At higher percents, the rear hit of Nair can even combo into a back air for a kill confirm at the ledge for anywhere between 60 to 130% depending on character weight and rage. Forward air is one of Corrin's best tools due to its ability to poke from a distance as well as start combos and strings. Forward air is negative 4, meaning it's always safe on shield except when parried. Forward air can combo into a dragon pin at low percents for the most damage, and can also combo into another forward air, nair, up air, or dash attack. Once you reach mid percents, you can start lots of different strings to maximize damage. Even at higher percents, you can still combo into an up air or a back air. Up air is another great combo starter that can act as an anti-air and also lead into Corrin's other aerials. Up air is negative 5 on shield which also makes it near impossible to punish without parries. Practice executing short hop fast fall up airs while trying to hit the front and the back part of the hitbox. It can lead into itself, back air, and forward. Down tilt is negative 17 on shield and can be punished by quick attacks out of shield if not spaced correctly. It can combo into up tilt at low percents, it can combo into an up air starting in mid percents. There's a small window with every character that can, you can true combo into an up air for a kill confirm. The execution can be a little tricky however because you have to make sure that you don't accidentally buffer a short hop. If you're outside of that percent window, you can bait out an air dodge and punish with an up air or back air to secure a stock. As you can see, Corrin has a very free flow combo game, where it almost feels natural when comboing from one aerial to the next. Even if all of her combos and setups aren't always true, Corrin is still amazing at a punishing escape option such as air dodges, jumps away, and covering landings. An essential part of mastering Corrin is mastering her control of the air and keeping your opponents in a juggle for as long as you can, keeping track of when your opponent has burned either their air dodge, jump, or both. Since Korn's game plan revolves heavily around landing aerials, it's important to utilize grabs as a mix-up to gain stage control and even kill at higher percents. Korn's down throw is the throw you'll likely use at low percents as it could potentially set up for a combo and does the most damage. There are no true combos out of Korn's throws, but you can read an air dodge or jump to start a combo string. Korn's up throw is her kill throw and will start to kill around roughly 140 to 180%, but this is obviously dependent on opponent weight and rage. This is a great way to secure stocks and it can be easy to get a grab by forcing your opponent into shield at high percents due to the threat of your other kill options. Forward and back throw are pretty straightforward, just a means to gain stage control and set up for ledge trapping when your opponent isn't at a high enough percent for up throw. 
Back air comes down to frame 13 and is negative 9 on shield. What's unique about back air is that it pushes Corrin forward after the hitbox comes out. This means it's nearly impossible to punish this move on shield due to the aerial drift that it grants Corrin. This can also be useful when recovering while facing forward since you could push Corrin closer to the stage with it. While in neutral, back air will mostly be used to take stocks and finish combos due to its high damage and kill power. Otherwise, at non-kill percents, you're better off fishing for her other aerials as you'll be able to start combos and juggles with them. It's also Corrin's best edge guarding tool off stage since it's her only aerial that sends horizontally. Get comfortable with spacing and timing Corrin's back air, both on and off stage. It takes time to get used to due to its long startup. Down air is mostly used as a landing mix-up and can auto-cancel if performed at the right height, therefore receiving no landing lag. It can catch many opponent's recoveries and two-frame at the ledge if timed correctly. It can also sometimes be used to set up for tech chases at lower percents. Dash Attack is a multi-hit burst which Corrin can use to tech chase and catch landings. Depending on spacing, it can cross up an opponent's shield for a mix-up. However, it can still easily be punished. Corrin's smash attacks and special moves are what make her unique. They give her a ton of utility and are what separates her from a typical sword fighter. Moves like Dragon Pin, F Smash, and Fang Shot give Corrin a ton of kill potential, range, and mix-ups. Forward Smash is a long reach, high kill power move that has a multi-hit box at the base of the attack. This multi-hit is what makes the move so unique and deadly, as it can lock your opponent into shield and nearly guarantee an F Smash. It can be used for ledge trapping, hard punishing whiffs, and catching ledge stalls. If you catch your opponent using a neutral getup or rolling from the ledge, F Smash is a great way to call it out because even if they manage to get their shield up, they are locked into shield and are either forced into a shield break or are forced to take the F Smash. When locked into shield, you cannot escape with rolling or jumping. Even if you try to wait it out, it will result in you getting shield poked and hit by the F Smash or it'll break your shield. Well, this is a lot of um, this is very, very interesting, but we are watching a very, very decided to do this, so... There is some counterplay with SDIing upwards and using something like a parry or a frame one escape option to escape out of it. All in all, this move is extremely deadly when your opponent is at kill percents, and is great for ledge trapping or even trapping an opponent if they try to roll into you, spot dodge, or land into you unsafely. For more details on this move, check out the video by Shawless where they do an amazing job breaking down this move, including counterplay from both you and the opponent. Corrin's neutral special, Dragon Fang Shot, can be a very useful move for pressuring from a distance or punishing hard reads up close. Fang Shot charges up her projectile while holding B, and fires when B is released. If you continue to hold down B after the release, Corrin will then charge the bite, which does a crazy amount of damage and knockback. When out of range, use the projectile to pressure your opponent into shield, or force a jump. If your opponent chooses to jump over the shot, it leaves them open to an aerial while you approach. Be aware that Corrin's Fang Shot is highly committal and is a high risk, high reward attack. If you whiff or try to charge an attack too closely, you can get hard punished. Landing the charge shot can combo into an aerial or even smash attacks. The longer you charge the attack, the longer it will stun the opponent upon contact. Corrin's side special, Dragon Pin, is a very versatile attack. It is a great punish tool and is amazing for ledge trapping. When initially pressing side B, Corrin will do a hop. Pressing side B again lets her strike her pin into the ground. However, if you press B and A, one after the other as quick as possible, Corrin can buffer her pin attack almost instantly out of the hop animation. This lets her perform an insta pin. Once Corrin has placed her pin, she can attack to the left or right by holding the stick in the representative direction jump out of it, or drop out of the pin by pressing down. When Corrin kicks in the direction she's facing, it will deal the most damage and knockback, allowing her to take stocks fairly early. The backwards kick is weaker, but can help Corrin from giving up stage control if the Corrin pins at the ledge and the opponent is not a kill percent. Jumping out of the pin doesn't accomplish much except as an escape mix-up when the move is whiffed, or to aid her in recovery on stages with walls like Kalos League. Dropping out of the pin will force your opponent into a tech situation. If you read their tech option, you can get a free punish with almost any move, including an F-Smash.
Corrin's Dragon Pin can also two-frame opponents at the ledge, as well as catch recoveries that don't snap the ledge. The sweet spot on this move is at the tip of the pin, and can kill absurdly early if landed at the ledge or offstage. To do this consistently, practice mastering both the timing of the insta-pin, as well as the angle in which the pin attacks. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also feel free to join my Discord server to become a part of the community. Be sure to check out my other character guides shown on screen here, and I'll see you in the next video.